Hi everyone, this is Veronica. Today our topic of discussion is about world's oldest rhino which has died recently. So this was the oldest living rhino. So here we'll discuss in detail about this. For my video updates and queries, you can connect with me on Instagram and Facebook because I feel together we can make a difference. So now here I'll discuss what is the relevance of this topic. See, it will be covered in your mains paper 3, Conservation, Environmental Pollution and Degradation. At objective level, you should know about DNA database for Indian rhino, subjective level about the conservation of rhinos. So obviously here we are talking about the African rhinos, uh, but the main focus in this discussion after, the, after I cover this current affair is about the conservation of rhinos in India and Indian subcontinent. Now see in what context today we are studying this because a rhino which is thought to be the oldest in the world has died in Tanzania the age was 57. So let's have a look at the country Tanzania it is an African country so here you can find this is the Tanzania, location of the Tanzania. Now see this is basically a female black rhino and the name of this rhino was Foster. So this rhino has died because of the natural causes so there were no diseases or illness here. So she has died of natural uh, causes in the captivity. Now records show that this female black rhino has lived longer than any rhino because the average age for the rhino is approximately 40 years but she has died at the age of 57 years and it has survived actually the free ranging for more than 54 years. So for 54 years she was a free ranging animal and from the last three years she was kept in a century for uh, from 2016. Now see Foster, this female rhino was first located in 1965. At that time it was supposed, she was supposed to be between 3 to 4 years old. But her health deteriorated after a lot of hyenas attacked her in 2016. And after that she was shifted to this century. Now as I told you rhino's life expectancy is around 40 years in the wild. But they can live an extra decade in the captivity. So decimated by poaching, black rhinos now number around 5,500 according to charity Save the Rhino. And the smaller of the two African species, they are found in southern and eastern Africa, including the countries like Kenya, Tanzania, Nambia, South Africa and Zimbabwe. So one of the reasons why she lived so long, so conservationists say that they uh, like she never had any calves. So she never gave birth to any calf. So maybe this is the reason she lived till 59. So here you should know that this eastern black rhino is listed as critically endangered. And its numbers are dangerously low because the animals are often poached for their horn. So their illegal trade takes place for their horn. However, now because of the conservation efforts, their numbers are increasing. So this was the current affairs. Now we'll shift to uh, whatever happened to the rhinos in 2019 the, because of which they were in news one reason was dna database for indian rhino because environment uh, environment ministry has embarked on a project to create dna profiles of all rhinos in the country so they said that by 2021 the indian rhino could be the first wild animal species in india to have all its members dna sequenced so this project the proponents here include your wwf india World Wildlife Fund and the Center Funded Wildlife Institute of India. So this exercise would be useful in curbing, poaching and gathering evidence in wildlife crimes involving the rhinos. So there are about 2600 rhinos in, in our country with over 90% of the population concentrated in Assam's Kaziranga National Park and around 60 samples of tissue have been collected so far from some rhinos living outside Kaziranga. So now if we talk about Indian rhino. So Indian rhino, so just have a look at this picture. This is a picture of one horned Indian rhino. So they are also called greater one horned rhinoceros and greater Indian rhinoceros which is native to Indian subcontinent. So one thing important here is about the IUCN red list. So it is listed as vulnerable as populations are fragmented and restricted to 20,000 square kilometer of the area. So there was a time once it ranged from entire northern part of Indian subcontinents along with your this Indus area. Uh, your Brahmaputra river basins from Pakistan to Indian Myanmar border but now this range is narrowing down 
the reason being poaching for rhinoceros horn become the single most important reason for the decline of the indian rhinos so here we will talk about what is the national rhino conservation strategy so it calls actually for the active engagement between india and nepal to conserve greater one hand rhinos so this plan set the single population of rhinos in uh, nepal sukla fanta valmiki tiger reserve india Chitwan National Park, Nepal, and Dudwa, India, is separated by political boundary. See, political boundary is for the humans. Animal doesn't know whether it is India. They have to stay here. They don't have to cross the border and go to Nepal. So that is why it has been decided that both the countries will work together. So the plan calls for expanding distribution range, as the occurrence of ninety percent of the rhino is one protected area is a cause of concern and. conservation of existing potential rhino habitats need to be made a national priority so here see there was a plan indian rhino vision 2020 so what is this vision it was launched in 2005 which is known as indian rhino vision it is an ambitious effort that we want to attain a wild population at least 3000 greater one horned rhinos spread over seven protected areas in the indian state of assam by the year 2020 so these seven protected areas are your kaziranga bobitora orang national park manas national park Laukhova Wildlife Sanctuary, Burachapori uh, Wildlife Sanctuary, Dibru Saikhova Wildlife Sanctuary. So these places are envisioned in this vision. So this is a collaborative effort between various organizations. So these uh, organizations include your International Rhino Foundation, Assam Forest Department is there. Then you have your Bodoland Territorial Council, World Wild Fund. uh india and the us fish and wildlife services were collaborating into indian rhino vision 2020 because we have seen the sumatran uh, rhinoceros has become extinct in malaysia after the death of the last rhino in the country so uh, we don't want that thing to happen with the other rhinos because we have our three species of rhino in asia one is your greater one horned rhino that i just told you next is your sumatran rhino right these are the asian rhinos so in malaysia is it is extinct now and the third one is your javan rhino right so they are spread across india nepal bhutan indonesia and malaysia so these countries are also known as asian rhino range countries okay now other another thing about them is was there was a recently a new delhi declaration in 2009 this took place on asian rhinos so India and the four rhino range nations have signed a declaration new delhi declaration so the main aim and objective is the conservation and protection of the species right so here the key facts was that india will collaborate with all these countries to increase the population of three species of asian rhino so this is about the asian rhinos right so the declaration was signed to conserve and review the population of greater one horned javan sumatran rhinos every 4 years to reassess the need for joint actions so this declaration basically includes the undertaking studies on health issues of the rhinos their potential diseases taking necessary steps and like that so they have 12 point strategic actions which are outlined Uh, right so here i will just write them for you while explaining see they need to collaborate to strengthen protection regimes so first they want to protect there are protection regimes strategic information gathering and real time sharing of actionable information next point they included was research that they want to initiate the research on various habitat parameters including your invasive species which threaten the asian rhinos third they said to explore possibility of expanding they want to expand the rhinos ranges right within the country or between rhino range countries fourth they talk about the strengthening trans boundary collaboration so this is trans boundary collaboration among india nepal and bhutan next fifth point they want to connectivity they want to identify and connect and find the connectivity in corridors across international borders so they want to find the corridors and keep them functional safe and secure for free movement of asian rhinos sixth here they have included to increase the engagement of local communities because local communities are very important right because they are the stewards to secure the future of rhinos in the these range countries seventh point is to initiate proactive monitoring on 
potential adverse impacts of climate change so climate change what impact it is having on the health of the rhinos then they have uh, talked about to undertake studies on rhino health issues so climate change and health issues is one factor but other there could be other health issues also they will uh, potential diseases could be there so the uh, here in collaboration they want to take necessary steps for management and intervention ninth to regularly organize exposure visits for managers and frontline staffs of the rhino rage countries so here they would talk about they talked about best practices to be adopted by these managers tenth they want to collaborate and strengthen wildlife forensics for the purpose of investigation so if there is any investigation what kind of forensics should be used how we can strengthen that that is the another agenda then eleventh is to accelerate natural and conservation breeding so breeding is also a problem especially it is talked about for sumatran rhino including best use of all available individuals and technologies and last is to call to the attention of all countries that possible opening of international trade of rhino horn and other uh, derivatives will have a severe detrimental impact on rhino population in asian rhino range countries so we want to aware and take the help of other countries also that they should help the asian range countries to protect this species right so these 12 points are basically the strategic actions which are outlined in this new delhi declaration right so today we talked about the current affair that the oldest uh, rhino female rhino fosta she died then we talked about the dna database the government is talking about new delhi declaration and even the rhino conservation strategy also so still if you have any doubts you can connect me on instagram and facebook for your queries pdf will be available on my telegram channel thank you